There are few automobile brands that can elicit as much excitement, passion, and sheer driving pleasure as Porsche. From its roots in Stuttgart, Germany, the brand has continuously delivered high-octane thrills to its ardent followers. So when Porsche CEO Oliver Bloom recently announced the launch of not one, but five new models for 2024, the automotive world collectively held its breath in anticipation. The first car announced was the Porsche 911. There's a certain resonance with the numbers 911. For decades, the Porsche 911 has been the embodiment of sheer driving delight, a symphony of engineering excellence and aesthetic beauty. Thus, the announcement of an electric Porsche 911 took many by surprise. Some purists might initially balk at the idea, but the shift towards electric mobility is an inevitable trend in the automotive industry. Major brands like Tesla have already proven the exhilarating potential of electric performance with models like the Roadster and other iconic marks such as Jaguar, with its electric I-Pace and Audi's e-tron range, have followed suit. Bloom's decision to electrify the 911 is a significant nod to the future, showing Porsche's commitment to sustainability while retaining the heart and soul of what makes a 911, well, a 911. It will be fascinating to see how Porsche engineers manage to capture the visceral feel of the traditional 911 while switching to electric power. It's not just about the figures on the paper, it's about how the car makes you feel when you push it to its limits. Expectations for the electric 911 are sky high. Electrification offers unique advantages such as instantaneous torque delivery and the potential for a lower center of gravity owing to battery placements. It's anticipated that the electric 911 will harness these benefits to deliver blistering acceleration and razor-sharp handling. In the realm of electric sports cars, Tesla's Roadster has set impressive benchmarks. But knowing Porsche, the electric 911 is likely to push these boundaries even further. Battery technology and range are paramount when it comes to electric vehicles. Given the performance demands of a car like the 911, Porsche's engineers will need to strike a delicate balance between delivering thrilling power and ensuring practical usability. Advanced cooling systems, state-of-the-art regenerative braking, and adaptive energy management systems might be among the plethora of innovations that the electric 911 introduces. Furthermore, the vehicle's infotainment and connectivity features are bound to be cutting edge, offering drivers a suite of modern conveniences while ensuring that the essence of the driving experience remains undiluted. The Porsche Spyder 918 was the second car to be revealed. The Porsche Spyder 918, when it first graced the roads, was a masterclass in hybrid technology, a beacon of what was possible when you combined roaring combustion power with electric efficiency. Its return is something enthusiasts have been whispering about in hushed tones for years, and now it's becoming a reality. The 2024 Spider iteration will undoubtedly be a force to be reckoned with, blending its storied legacy with state-of-the-art advancements. While hyper-hybrid models like the Ferrari LaFerrari and the McLaren P1 have given the Spider 918 stiff competition in the past, the new iteration, under Bloom's direction, might just reclaim its throne atop the hybrid supercar hierarchy. The original 918 Spider boasted figures that left enthusiasts in awe. 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 2.5 seconds, with a top speed that flirted with the 214 miles per hour mark. But it wasn't just about raw numbers. The 918 was lauded for its responsive handling, razor sharp agility, and the symphony of its exhaust note. Given the leaps in automotive tech since the last Spider 918 iteration, the forthcoming model has large shoes to fill. In a segment where the likes of the McLaren P1 and the Ferrari LaFerrari have constantly raised the bar, Porsche's new 918 will have to deliver an experience that is both sublime and earth-shattering. Beyond just speed, the 918's return promises a showcase of technological innovations. The integration of AI-assisted driving systems, advanced aerodynamics that adapt to driving conditions, and state-of-the-art materials that optimize weight without compromising strength could all feature in the new 918. Moreover, the infotainment and connectivity suite of the Spider 918 will undoubtedly be leagues ahead of its predecessor. With the rise of augmented reality, gesture controls, and enhanced driver-vehicle interfacing, the cockpit of the new 918 might well resemble a futuristic command center. The third car announced was the Porsche Mission X. 
The Porsche Mission X isn't just a car, it's a statement. Supercars, by their very nature, are symbols of aspiration, performance, and cutting-edge technology. While brands like Lamborghini with their Aventador or Bugatti's Chiron have set the bar high, Porsche's Mission X aims to not just meet but redefine those standards. The mission in its name suggests a directive, a clear aim to push the boundaries. As details emerge, automotive aficionados will keenly dissect every specification, every curve, every innovation. Initial glimpses suggest that the Mission X will possess the sleekness associated with the brand's lineage. Aerodynamics, always a key consideration for supercars, will play an integral role in its design. It wouldn't be a stretch to assume that Porsche will amalgamate its rich history with modern design ethos, resulting in a car that feels timeless yet thoroughly contemporary. Competitors like the Lamborghini Huracan or the Aston Martin Valkyrie have always been design marvels. But with the Mission X, Porsche seems to be crafting a visual narrative that's uniquely its own. Knowing Porsche's penchant for perfection, it's almost a given that the Mission X will house some of the most advanced automotive technologies. The focus will undoubtedly be on achieving the golden trifecta, speed, agility, and stability. Carbon fiber composites, cutting edge suspension systems, and meticulously tuned powertrains will work in harmony to deliver a driving experience that's both raw and refined. The supercar segment has seen brands like Ferrari and McLaren push the envelope with hybrid technologies, combining electric prowess with combustion power. Not all cars are about blistering speed or groundbreaking technology. Some cars, like the Porsche 968, which was the fourth car to be announced, resonate because of the memories they evoke, the eras they represent. The 968, with its distinctive design and perfect weight distribution, was always a driver's car, a nod to simpler times when driving was as much about the journey as the destination. Its return is a homage to the classic car lovers, a blend of nostalgia with the modern advancements Porsche is renowned for. It'll be intriguing to see how this cult classic will be reincarnated to suit the contemporary landscape, perhaps giving rivals like the BMW M2 or the Mercedes-AMG GT a run for their money. The original Porsche 968 was cherished for various reasons. Its balanced proportions, the signature pop-up headlights, and its remarkable transaxle design were all defining elements that made it stand out. The 968 was a car that didn't need to shout its presence. Its poised stance and design intricacies spoke volumes. For the 968's return, striking the right chord between its iconic design ethos and contemporary aesthetics will be pivotal. Modern automotive design has seen a shift towards sleeker lines, LED lighting, and aerodynamic optimizations. Integrating these with the 968's classic charm will be a delicate yet exhilarating dance of design. The 968 was renowned not just for its looks but also its performance. Housing a 3.0-liter four-cylinder engine, it was at the time the world's third largest four-cylinder and offered a smooth, powerful drive that endeared it to many. Its impeccable weight distribution and precise handling made it a joy on both city roads and racetracks. As the revived 968 prepares to grace our roads, expectations are high. While it would be natural for Porsche to infuse it with the latest powertrain technologies, there's hope that they will retain some essence of the original's driving feel. Hybridization or even full electrification could be on the cards, considering the industry's move towards sustainable mobility. The Porsche Vision Rendienst is perhaps the most radical announcement of them all. An electric van from a brand celebrated for its sports cars is a bold move, but it encapsulates the zeitgeist of our times. As urban mobility shifts towards sustainability and functionality, the Vision Rendienst could be the perfect answer for modern city dwellers or businesses looking for eco-friendly transport solutions. Moreover, as brands like Volkswagen are rejuvenating their lineup with electric vans like the ID, Buzz, it's evident that there's a burgeoning market for such vehicles. Porsche's foray into this segment promises to combine functionality with luxury, a blend the brand excels in. 2024 promises to be an exhilarating year for Porsche and its enthusiasts. Oliver Bloom's announcements are not just about new models, they represent a vision, a future direction for the brand. As competitors and fellow car lovers watch closely, one thing is clear. Porsche, with its legacy and commitment to innovation, 
is on the cusp of setting new benchmarks in the automotive world. Thank you for sticking with me all the way to the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure the notification bell is turned on so you don't miss a video.